First Base Solutions, changing views to get a better perspective. Map Warehouse, delivering data that delivers results. In this video, you'll learn how to search, select, download, and work with data from Map Warehouse. Chapter 1 Search. First, go to Map Warehouse at maps.firstbasesolutions.com and click on Get Maps to launch the application. Begin by logging in or registering for a user account. A map announcement will alert you to any new data. Go ahead and close the pop up to show the map where you'll search for your area of interest. Coverage shows where data is available. Choose Map or Hybrid according to your searching preference. Before you can search for data, you'll need to locate your area of interest. There are four ways to do this. Basic, Lot Concession, Advanced, or by using the map navigation tools. A basic search is best for place names and addresses. To perform a lot concession search, start typing the name of a township and choose one of the options from the list below. Then choose a lot number and click search. You'll then be presented with a list of concessions. Choose one from the search results to zoom to that area. Use an advanced search to search for an item ID or a file name if you've searched for an item previously and want to find it again. Click the Info tool to see the coverage and metadata for each of the search results. Click on any of the search results to zoom to that file's location on the map. You can also find your area of interest by navigating the map using the standard Google Maps tools. Once you locate your area of interest, you can begin to search for data. The Point Selection tool is best for searching small areas of interest. Click the flag to activate the tool, then click the map in the area you'd like to search. Any data available at the search location will be listed in the item selection drawer. To search for data in a larger area of interest, use the Polygon Selection tool. Click the Polygon to activate the tool. Now, draw your area of interest over the map. Close the shape to see a list of available data covering your area of interest in the item selection drawer. You can refine the search polygon by dragging and dropping the yellow handles. You have now completed the searching process. Chapter 2. Select. Take a closer look at the item selection drawer. You'll see data types, metadata groups, and individual items. First, find the type of data that you're interested in. In this example, we'll look for orthophoto mapping. Expand the orthophoto mapping folder and you'll see metadata groups. The metadata groups represent the different types of orthophoto that are available. Expand any of the metadata groups folders and you'll see the individual items that cover the area of interest you searched earlier. Use the item selection filter to remove unwanted data types from your search results. Data is sold in tiles that form a grid across the coverage area. Click the Show Grid button to see the coverage of the items within any metadata group. Most data types are sold in 500 meter tiles. This allows multiple data types to be purchased together with identical coverage. Click the I for more information about a metadata group or an individual item. Move your mouse over the items in the list to see each one highlighted on the map. You can see more detail of the image preview by moving your cursor over the thumbnail image. The magnifying glass button zooms you to the coverage of the individual item. The cart button adds the item to your shopping cart. You have now completed the selection process. Chapter 3. Download. After you've added all the items to your shopping cart, open the shopping cart drawer to review the selection. From the shopping cart drawer, you can see more info, zoom to the coverage, or remove an item from your shopping cart. When you're ready, click the checkout button to finalize your order. For each item in your shopping cart, choose a file format from the drop-down list. If you have a promotional code, you can enter it here. In this example, I've chosen Mr. Sid format for my raster data and DWG format for my vector data. Add a reference number for your order and complete the payment information section. Also take a minute to review the End User License Agreement, or EULA. Click Place Order to complete the transaction. 
In a few minutes, you'll receive an email telling you that your order is ready to be downloaded. Navigate to the Order History section of our website and click Download to retrieve your order. Click View to see the order details, along with a copy of your invoice or receipt. You have now completed the download process. Chapter 4 – Work The order you downloaded is contained in a zip folder. Review your order to ensure that it is complete and meets your expectations. Many of the georeferenced file types require an auxiliary file. Extract the entire order to your local directory and save all the files together. Take a close look at some of the file names. You may need some of this information later. If you use GIS software, such as ArcMap, simply locate the files and add them to your project. The four image tiles will draw in their correct georeferenced positions on the map. The four parcel tiles are clipped to the exact coverage of the image tiles. If you use CAD software, use the command ImageAttach to add a single image tile to your project. If your CAD software cannot read the auxiliary files, you'll need to enter the insertion point information manually. Now you'll see that the image covering the southwest corner of the area of interest has been loaded. Connect to a data source through the task pane if you'd like to add several images at once. The image tiles will draw in their correct georeferenced locations. Add a DWG reference, or copy and paste in place, to add the parcels on top of the orthophoto. The parcel coverage matches the photo coverage precisely. The common grid in Map Warehouse makes it simple for you to purchase and work with different combinations of data types. Orthophoto combined with parcel data allows you to see neighborhoods in context. Orthophoto combined with contour data lets you see the elevation, slope, and aspect of the land. Combining orthophoto with digital elevation models allows you to create three-dimensional surfaces. Combining orthophoto with floodplain mapping clarifies risks and hazards. Or use the photo base map to design anything you want. You've now completed the Work section of the tutorial. To learn more, please visit firstbasesolutions.com.